This week I'm going to stay in the world of Rogers and this is a drum that I've had for a long time and I keep forgetting how awesome it is. This is a early 70s, 1970, 71, I'm not sure exactly the year. Rogers 5x14 chrome over brass power tone. I'm not really sure why these drums aren't as popular as they should be, but they are absolutely amazing. Um, let's see, what's I got? I don't even know. It's got eight lugs. It has this interesting double beaded sort of, I don't even, it's like a reverse bead. So the Ludwig has the, you know, the raised center bead. The power tone has two beads, if you can see that. Let my camera focus. You can see that there's like reverse beads. So it goes in two different spots. It's a, it's a brass shell, chrome plated. I'm pretty sure it's welded though. Yeah, yes, they're definitely a seam. So it's not a seamless shell. But regardless of whether it's welded or seamless, it sounds incredible. It's a very dense, thick sound. It sounds really nice tuned high. You get a nice chunky, controlled focus sound out of it. And you really can do no wrong tuning wise. So in the demo, I just kind of go from a high, cracky sound, Chad Smith kind of a vibe, and just take it down to where it gets kind of chesty and thumpy, take it all the way down to the bottom, and then bring it back up to where I normally keep it, which is in the medium high kind of range. Uh, it sounds like full and compressed naturally. I don't think I have, no, the internal dampener is not. Uh, it might just, again, just be barely touching the head, but there's not a whole lot of excessive ring. It's a really nice open throaty sound. Um, I took this drum on tour. We did 32 different venues and I didn't have to, I had to retune the drum once that whole time. It just sounded great everywhere. So I don't know why I don't use this drum more often. Um, you can still find them for sure. They're not nearly as pricey as a Black Beauty or something like that, but let's take a listen. This is the Rogers Power Dome Chrome Over Brass.
There you have it, Rogers Power Tone Chrome Over Brass. If you wanna know the heads I'm using, Evans G1 coated on the batter, um, 300 series snare side, and I have vintage Canopus wires, I think they're 20 strands. Bottom head is tuned tight. This bottom head might've been what came on the drum when I bought it, because I bought it used. Bottom head is tuned tight, top head. It's probably right now tuned somewhere around a D. But yeah, fantastic drum. Get yourself one of these Roger Power Tone Chrome Over Brass, five by 14.